Okay, so I did a little research before I left work today and I am heading to a food bank that is open on certain days and this one happens to be open after work hours, which works out perfectly for me. Okay, usually there's a long line going all the way back and I won't show any faces, but because of the time I get here, it's not so bad. I think it starts at three and ends at seven and now it's about five o'clock. Okay, slight disclaimer. This is not for the prepper or the survivalist or whatever. This is how to get food into your household when you are on a fixed income. I read a couple of comments and I had to go back to my roots and remember where I came from. This is where I started food pantries because when it came down to it, I didn't have the money to buy two extra cans of something or three extra cans of something because everything I was buying we were eating immediately so there was nothing left over. So if you are in this situation, I hope this helps. I think one of the most common mistakes people make is telling themselves someone needs it more than I do. Perhaps, but if you are eligible and you need it, why suffer? Use that money on something else to pay a bill. Supplement what you can buy with these. For example, I don't get fresh fruits and veggies very often because they're so expensive, but I can coupon and buy a lot of household staples. And I still will go to a food pantry two or three times a year just to fill in the gaps. Okay, so I'm not sure how much you could see while I was actually in there, but the, I love that one because you can go through a line and select things that are specific to you. For example, they asked chicken or pork. I don't do pork. So I got a 10 pound bag of chicken and it's frozen solid. So that's amazing. I got pancake mix, two cans of green beans. We were allowed to pick up um, as many sodas as we wanted. I only got three. And I picked up two potatoes. We got three ears of corn. That's just what everybody got. And we got to pick up as many veggies as we liked. So I got two of these little bags of sugar snap peas. I love those. And we got cabanzo beans. Everybody got two of those. And the dates, two of those. I got one apple, one pear. I'll have to eat them rather quickly, but I'm sure they're super sweet. And a bag of mangoes. They had boxes and boxes and boxes of mangoes. And they had so many sweets and desserts that were allowing up to like three to five per family. Well, there's no way, even with the whole family eating these, we'll all eat one. So that's going to be it. So, okay, it is so extremely windy out here. So I'm just going to show you through my dirty window to block the air. But I'm stopping by a thrift store to see if I can find an inexpensive bookshelf to make like a makeshift pantry. I was talking to some co-workers and one of them has a friend that works at a moving company with a moving company and they think they have a bookshelf that someone's about to get rid of. So if they get that one, it'll be free. But just in case, I'm going to check here and see what the prices are and see what I can get for like 10 bucks. I mean, I don't know. You don't know unless you look, right? Okay, as I walk through the store, I see there is absolutely nothing here that is affordable. Thrift stores have gotten so expensive. Now, something I didn't mention earlier is a trick someone taught me when I first started is never just go to one food bank. If you can help it, go to two or three. That way you can actually make meals. And good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. There is a food drive that starts at 8 o'clock. The people start lining up at 7, so you hear my dogs. I'm going to take them outside, jump in the shower, and get in line for the food bank. There's one good thing about this morning. There's not a lot of traffic on the way. Just a slight mist. Okay, so here's the line. And I'm quite early. I'm going to be number five. Which is how the, we just have to follow the tape all the way around. If you don't have transportation, consider getting this information and sharing it with someone who could also use these services and ride together. That way you can each pick up a box. Give them a couple of bucks to say thank you but it's well worth the trip if you both go. I am still going all the way around the church. This line is crazy and I thought I got an early start. I'm still following the tape. They told me to follow the yellow brick road. There are three rows of cars on that side too. This is crazy and I'm going all the way down to the end to the guy with the orange shoes. Okay, it's supposed to start at eight o'clock, but I just heard some of the traffic people out directing traffic saying they started they started early it's supposed to start at 8 they're starting at 725 and the cars are starting to move 
And I don't know if you can tell how fast this line is going. This is the front of the church. We'll decide when I first came in and thought I was only like three or four cars behind, but they're moving very quickly. What I like about this is you just tell them which door and they open it, put it in, and you keep going. And there's the team right there. Okay, and now I'm already heading back out. Okay, and here's what I have in this box. And it looks like it's going to be a great head start. Everything in here I can absolutely use, or someone can absolutely use. As you know, I've mentioned several times I don't eat pork, but look at this chicken. People got different things. I got chicken, wow. So things just happen. I have canned goods, oil, flour, and who even knew that grits would be part of the deal. And macaroni and cheese, all sorts of things. So we're gonna get this set up. Okay, it is Monday, April the 18th. And I'm at a food bank and it is extremely crowded this week. I had to park around back and it's like that on some days. So let's see what they have today. There are a lot of cars and the people are at the end of the building, but it's still not so bad because sometimes it's wrapped all the way around. So guys, this week there is so much stuff that they're just giving it out, giving it out. They have desserts. They're telling everybody to take five. They're back in my truck. There's even feta cheese, the really good salad. Great. And they were insisting on taking as many grapes as you like. They have the big green ones and the purple ones. They're all seedless. The leaf lettuce, a bag of cucumbers, these little juices, potatoes, canned fruit, and there's something else back there. I can't remember what that was. I think it was green beans or peas. And they were giving everybody two six packs of sodas. Now these I'm going to freeze and I will have these for breakfast or for lunch. There's three in each one. So this is food pantry hall number three. I think this is enough to show you what you can do. Now, If you look at the last three stops I made, you'll see exactly what I meant when I was advised to go to at least three at the same time during the month because now meals can be made and there's fresh produce and desserts and all sorts of things. Now we have to find a bookshelf. So I want you to start getting your food together and we're going to see what we can find. Okay, so this is everything I've acquired over three trips to different food banks over the past five or six days. Some of them you have to supply documentation, check stubs or driver's license or something like that. Um, one of them that I went to does not. I was trying to find a shelf so I could show you how to start off and get kickstarted on your free food but I can't find one and I refuse to spend unless I can find one for $10 or less. But even in bookstores, I'm sorry, thrift stores, they're like $30, $40, forget that. So what I'm gonna have to do right now is use a tote and come back to that when I can find one or I can have someone gift one. Okay, technically I could leave all of these items in a tote and put them somewhere knowing that I had a little bit of backup for an emergency. Um, there's the rice. But that creates stress. So I wanted to get this up now so you can start collecting your food. If you do not have a food pantry, I hear a lot of people do not, call 211 for information for organizations near you that can help with food. Also try Facebook, where I live and in other places you go to Facebook and type in buy nothing and then the city and the state for example buy nothing Austin Texas on Facebook there will be some type of group and if you need something you can ask for it now I started to do that for the bookshelf that I was going to use because I am donating this food I personally don't need it I did eat the fresh produce because it's gonna go bad but I don't want to take a bookshelf from someone who's going to need it so try that site buy nothing, your city and state, and see if they have one. So just start getting your food now and worry about where to put it later. Okay guys, until you see me back next time with a bookshelf or some type of storage unit, 
Be happy, be healthy, most importantly, be safe.